So far we've been looking at some of the basics associated with creating a presentation using the LaTeX Beamer package. So that's been things such as the title page, table of contents, and we moved on to looking at creating text on a slide, including changing the font so that we might want to emphasize particular text either by putting it in bold or possibly italics. So what we're going to move on to here is to creating lists of text. So rather than just having paragraphs, which might sometimes be difficult to digest, we're going to look at how to use the LaTeX enumerate and itemize in environments to create a list on a LaTeX Beamer slide. <clears throat> so one thing that I've done differently from previous presentations is I've changed the theme that's used. And also I specify the different color, so the appearance will be slightly different. So we scroll through our presentation, and once we reach the section on basic graphics, I've added a couple of frames. The first one is called graph aesthetics, and the second one graph geoms. Now these are a couple of the elements that make up the ggplot2 graphics package for R, and they're used to specify things such as the way you map from data points to the symbols that appear on the page. So, for example, the different plot shapes or different colors, etc. So, on our first slide, graph aesthetics, we've got a single line of text, and underneath that, we've got an itemized list. Now, as this is itemized, we end up with a point rather than numbered bullet points. So, all we do here is our begin itemize and end itemize and then each individual bullet point is started by the slash item command. So we've simply added a single word next to each of those bullet list entries. So if we attempt to view our PDF document, we will see that the presentation has changed slightly in appearance. So we'll just bring this up to size. And if we flick through a few slides, or we can in fact use the uh, links over here to jump to the quick start, that so to basic graphs and then move on a slide. So we say we've got our single line of text and then our bullet list here. So we've got these round symbols by default and then just a single line of text. So if we just switch back to the tech maker window, we'll see on the next slide we've got another bit of text before our list, but here we're using enumerate rather than itemize. So what enumerate does is it puts a number next to each of these points. So again, we've got single lines of text. So we quickly jump back here and move on to the next slide. And we can see here we've got points one, two, and three. So if there's a natural ordering, then it might make sense to actually number the points. So it could be steps in an operation that you need to follow rather than making use of just individuals possibly unrelated thoughts.